Hi, welcome back. Glad I can have you. You know, they say that tiny things are way better than not tiny things. So today I'm in my tiny apartment, painting tiny things on a tiny canvas. Cause tiny is the new big. I feel like this is kind of getting creepy. The whole, the whole Bob Ross type vibe, it's kind of getting creepy. I don't think I can pull it off like he can. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna be myself. Okay. So hey gang, I'm uh, I'm Rob Boss, the the slightly cooler Bob Ross. This this is how big the canvas is. I don't know if you can you can truly see the scale, but um, wh when I say it's tiny, I I mean I mean it's I mean it's tiny. I've never actually painted. I'm more of a digital artist, I'd say. Uh, I can't paint. That's all. Let's just uh, dive into the tutorial. What do you say? The first thing we're gonna need is uh the right colors. So first we have titanium white, phthalo blue, midnight black, alizarin crimson, or yellow, I think. Bright red, easy. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take some titanium white, just like, just like so. All I'm doing is just tapping, and tapping the color in and make your basic shapes. We're just gonna tap it. <laughs> I'm actually like pushing the canvas back. That's not good. Let's put the paint it's so small. It's moving quite a bit. Ooh. Go all the way through this and lift up. All the way through. Bob, you're going too fast, Bob. Slow it down, Bob. Oh, this might be looking good though. Hold on, Bob. Let's back it up. I think I went too big, too fast. We're just, well, you know what? We're in too deep. We're gonna continue. Okay, I'm just uh, brushing up. All the same angles. Just like he says. And it's just not, it's just not turning out the way it looks like on his. That's fine. I figure we'll get there. <laughs> just beat the devil. <laughs> Let's get some, some black mixed with blue. I'm gonna take my palette knife, which, uh, I don't have a palette knife, but I do have an X-Acto knife. That sounds really nice, doesn't it? Oof. Break. Want all these little holes left in it. There you go. See it? And you can wiggle that knife and cause all kinds of little effects to happen. Now we're adding like highlights to these like mountains. So I'm gonna grab some, uh, some white with our X-Acto knife here. Get that little roll of paint right down to the edge of the knife. We got our we got our nice roll on the side. Let it go. I'm like really close to like cutting in, into the canvas with this. I'm gonna add some. Um, I'm gonna stop you right there, Bob. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, pho photonic something blue, whatever the blue is. I'm That is looking real good. We're gonna take some blue and some white here. You can do anything that you want here. A little bit right back here, see? Now we can take this one and pull it distinctly through and it pushes that one right back. <laughs> Do you know you had that kind of power? Could you push mountains around? Boy, and I go home, the only thing I can push around is a chair, but here I can push around anything. I don't really like how the mountain that like, goes into it, so I'm just kind of like, kind of add some separation. Maybe there's some happy little trees live back here. These are far away, and all we're looking for is just little indications. All right, let's add some tree silhouettes. I'm gonna take some black here, and just uh, eat some trees, trees, think trees. CJ, think trees. Looking like trees? Not quite, but um, actually, you know what? I'm actually impressed. That looks pretty good for trees. Happy little grassy areas back here. Allow it to mix with that color it's underneath, all the blues. And, and we're gonna just do, man, that's too much, too much white. We're gonna do a very thin line, just kind of going with the flow, letting the paintbrush guide me. You know, the paintbrush, it's just a tool. Oh, that was a mistake. 
but don't don't tell Bob that. Now then, I want some I want some bright things happening here, so I'm gonna take this. Let's add a little add a little blue in there, little little light blue action. I'm gonna tap it into a little of the titanium white, just just gently tap it. And that's looking decent. Okay, let's go up here. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I want a happy little reflection to live right underneath here. Right here lives an evergreen that's a little bigger. He's a little touch closer. And we'll drop him in right there. Okay, we're gonna go with a big tree. I'm a little nervous for this one. We're going blue and black, but I'm gonna go mostly black. And this one's a little bit of blue. Dang it. Bob talking about friends really makes me uh, want some of my own. <laughs> okay, the tree. Wow, it's looking so good. The, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some, some, some blue and just line the bottom of it because I wanna do that. Wow, now that's a masterpiece if I've ever seen one. See, this is what I would like to consider perspective art. Not everyone sees the same thing. One might look at this and just see clouds, a very dark sky, and uh, explosion on the right-hand side. Some, they might, and, they, and they're right, but they're also wrong at the same time. All right, our finished masterpiece. Art, baby, right there. I think I'm gonna have to hang this one up on my wall, actually. Uh, like right, right around here. Wow. Doesn't that look so good? Put it like right here or something. Actually, you know what? Let's just, uh, yeah. Let's just put it like right here, I'm thinking.